If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the little bell next to it to ensure notifications on all new videos. Make sure and hit the like button, comment below, and share with your friends. I'm Shannon, and Comageddon starts now. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Legend of the Shield, number one, from July 1991 by Impact Comics. The Shield was a fictional patriotic superhero created by Archie Comics and debuted in January 1940, which means he actually predates Captain America, who first appeared in Captain America Comics number one in March 1941 in Timely Comics. In 2010, DC announced plans to integrate the Shield and other MLJ characters into the DC Universe. For this review, we're going to be talking about Impact Comics' Legend of the Shield. Impact Comics was an imprint of DC Comics that aimed its stories at younger audiences. However, it only lasted about from about 1991 to 1993. Impact licensed the character and the name of the Shield along with several other characters during this time. What drew me to this comic originally was remembering an action figure I had back in the 1980s who I called Captain USA because he looked like a red and white version of Captain America. The figure itself portrayed him as an overweight superhero who carried two guns as well as a shield. He was released as part of the Power Unleashed Mighty Crusaders toy line in 1984 by Remco and featured the Comet, the Fox, the Shield, the Web, the Brain Emperor, the Buzzard, the Eraser, and the Sting, featuring packaging art by Steve Ditko himself and was based on the fictional superhero team in Archie Comics by the same name, which debuted in Flyman number 31, 32, and 33. In fact, when the Mighty Crusaders received their own respective title, it was written by Superman co-creator Jerry Siegel, but only lasted seven issues. So with that being said, let's get into this comic. We open with a group of helicopters searching for a guy in leotards, who out of nowhere throws a boulder at one and jumps into another chopper, taking out the entire crew, revealing it was all a training exercise. It's revealed that rather than the S.H.I.E.L.D. being a single superhero, that there's actually been multiple versions of Project S.H.I.E.L.D. over the years, and that the project itself was the life's work of Brigadier General Marion Higgins. The original S.H.I.E.L.D. was a friend of the General's who went missing in 1963, but was found operating in Vietnam three years later. It isn't revealed, though, if the shield was killed or just quit, but what is revealed is that the armor itself, which was indestructible, couldn't be duplicated, but the hero could be. The second shield, which is the shield that we follow in this issue, was the general's own son, 2nd Lieutenant Joseph Higgins, but originally he was overqualified, so the general had to have him court-martialed without his knowledge that he was behind it and reduced in rank to sergeant just so that he would qualify to wear the suit. The villain in this issue seems to be working for a figure draped in darkness but appears to be somewhat of a businessman who's called Hauser. It's also revealed the villain who attacks the shield just before his final test of the armor is actually the same man who originally built the armor and he does so in order for someone named Jenny to remain safe. Overall I'd say this was an interesting read. It piqued my interest in the character a little bit more. I think if you really enjoyed Captain America, U.S. Agent, The Avengers, or Howling Commandos, then you'll probably find this interesting as well. Personally, though, those titles aren't really my cup of tea, but I still found the issue interesting nonetheless. Overall, I'll give Impact Comics Legend of the Shield, number one from July 1991, a solid 7 out of 10, maybe 7.5. If you like Captain America, you like the Avengers, you like the Howling Commandos and U.S. Agent and all those other store, military-style stories, go out, find you a copy of Legends of the Shield or just The Shield, and uh, give it a try. I, th I think you'll find it interesting. So there you have it, guys. This was my review of Legends of the Shield by Impact Comics from July 1991. Later, I'll be reviewing Impact Annual, Legend of the Shield, Earth Quest 2, number one, from 1992. As you can see, this is a fairly thick, 
almost trade paperback size. I'll get into this over the next week, and um, I'll be back later with a review on it. Take care, guys. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.